Oh, hi there. Welcome to another episode of the Okanagan Gardener and Forager channel. Recently, or some time ago, I found some fairly large patches of what I was fairly confident was curly dock. And it's okay, like, there's a whole bunch of different species of dock, and they all are edible, but with different uh, palatability. But I wasn't 100% sure that it was curly dock, and I wanted to be. And so I started to search and look through a whole bunch of different sources, and now I think I've got it. So this will be my definitive guide to identifying curly dock. Rumex crispus. Curly dock, also known as curled dock, yellow dock, and sour dock. The scientific name is Rumix crispus. It is a perennial plant that you can find all over North America. It is introduced from Eurasia, and you can find it there too. It's One of its distinctive features are its long, lance-shaped leaves that have curly or wavy edges. And uh, they have this vein pattern on them that I don't know how you would describe it, but it's fairly distinctive, and it's easier to see from the bottom side. Curly dock, or yellow dock, is edible and medicinal. Curly dock starts its growth in a basal rosette, but then it puts up a flowering stalk that can be one to four feet tall, and you can see it right there in the distance, and that's an easy way to find it, the flowering stalk. That's one to four feet tall and puts up, well, green flowers first, but then as the plant ages, they turn reddish brown. It's spring now, and this is uh, one of the ways you can identify curly dock. The seeds persist on the stem for a very long time. And how they grow is they grow in a whorl pattern. They grow in like a circle see around the stem, they grow all around it in a circle. The curly dock leaves are fairly distinct, I think, but they're also highly variable from plant to plant and within the same plant. Uh, here's that uh, also distinct vein pattern, I think, that I don't know how to describe. So, I didn't want to rely on the leaves, so I'm going to use the seeds to show a way that you can be more definitive about identifying curly dock. Curly dock seeds persist on the stem for quite some time. This is the spring and they were, there's still lots still on the stems of some of them, but the flowers bloom in early summer to early fall. And so they have a heart shape reddish brown in color. They have that grain-like swelling on one side. And if you can see, there's three wings to it. And also, there's this vein-like pattern on the paper, papery bracts. Like I said, the leaves are highly variable. This is the more of a typical curly dock leaf pattern with the curled or crisped edges but right here on like the next plant over you can see the edges are fairly smooth but there's another trait that is uh it's common it's not just curly dock it's rumex species they have this structure on the bottom here this papery sheath called an okrea or an okrea it surrounds the stem and the leaves as they emerge and around the leaves down there underneath it are kind of like slimy mucilaginous feeling. It protects the leaves as they emerge. And as it gets older, it turns brown and papery. There you can see what I'm pretty sure are a whole bunch of little baby curly dock. And just a comment, another comment about the leaf variability. Here's some there. There's some more there. And some other ones down there. And they all look very different. So, one other trait you can use to positively identify it as curly dock or yellow dock is the taproot. The taproot is yellow, yellowish or orangish. And I'll put some pictures here to show. I dug some up to check, and 
that is distinctive about it too. But what I'll also say, you don't have to sweat it too much because all species of dock are said to be edible. Just some taste better than others. So that's my definitive guide to identifying curly dock or yellow dock. Uh, did I miss anything? Maybe leave a comment and tell me what traits you might have used. Uh, did you like the video? If you did, please give it a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.